Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and just like yesterday, we are going to be doing another top 10 video, this time with my top 10 best rares of 2024 so far. Now, it was really difficult deciding which 10 rares I was going to put into this video, because we have got some really awesome ones this year, but I finally managed to get 10 of them in here, and I feel like we shouldn't waste any more time. Let's go ahead and take a look at them, and also don't forget to like and subscribe, as it really will help out the channel. Channel. That's in level 4 albino bantang, 117 to 128. So I'm going to go ahead and take him right here, and that'll be a perfect heart shot. Let's go. We dropped him on the spot there. So there were some others. Level 4 went up to 133, but we have an albino, and that's the one that matters most. So I got an albino bantang off of my own map, actually, probably four months ago, five months ago. I don't remember exactly what it was. There is a video on it. You can check that out. I might link it in the description if I remember to do that. But here we have a second one. He probably won't be quite as big because if I remember correctly, that one, he was almost diamond potential. He went up to like 136 or something like that. But here is this one, gold, 128.46. Left lung in the heart. Let's definitely get him taxed. And I just think they look incredible. I remember when they were first showcased on the EW stream and we actually saw an albino bantang. I just knew I had to get one and now we actually have two of them. Wow, guys, look what we have right up there. That is a piebald level 5 male red fox. I have never actually seen a piebald red fox. This is kind of insane. So I want to deploy the electronic collar really quickly. Let's see if we can get him back over here. It is currently red fox drink time. So I'm assuming he's going to be heading to his zone. I'm in a multiplayer session right now. But yeah, I have never seen one of these. I don't know if I, I, don't, I don't know if I recall ever seeing one on YouTube as well. I'm sure there is plenty of videos. I just never have seen one personally. Um, but yeah, there he is right there. Looks like he's going to be coming back this way. They look incredible, just from what I saw, from the glimpses I got of him when he was running through the trees there. They look absolutely incredible. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see here. He's giving us a pretty good shot there if he'll just stop. And he looks like, or I was going to say, looks like he's going to. But he's going to continue to trot just a bit. But if he stops right there and gives us a frontal, we are definitely going to take it. And there he is. So let's go for that. It'll be fantastic. He is down. Let's go. I cannot wait to pick this guy up and just get a better look at him as well. So I was actually just looking through the sandbar that were here on the map. Um, I saw, saw, saw a level 4 right over here and passed him up when I saw this piebald. So let's get a look at him. Yeah, they look absolutely incredible. I love the white and mixed in with the orange. It just looks awesome. So there it is, silver 9.36. Right lung into left lung. Just a fantastic shot on him. Definitely going to get him tacked before the game decides to crash. And let's get some screenshots of this guy. And they also just look fantastic with the fur rework. I know they got reworked, I don't know when it was, four updates ago maybe? I don't even remember. But they got a fur rework. They look absolutely incredible with that. Plus adding the piebald to it just makes it even better. Okay guys, so I went ahead and reset the time. We'd hunted quite a few Bantang and Crocodiles. And I figured it was about time we take down this guy. I'm really excited to get him and see what he's going to score. But he is a massive albino axis steer. Like I said, 179 to 220. He technically is diamond potential since diamond's 217. But he's probably not going to make it there. But still just a really cool trophy. So we do have the 243 handgun. Let's go ahead and get him. So we'll take that shot and should be good. He's not dropping, but there he goes, 5075. He will be dropping there, and he is going to be going down. So yeah, I'm really excited to get this guy picked up. He's massive, so let's get over there. So this is actually my first time ever getting a rare access deer. I don't have any over on my main account, and this is the first one here, obviously, on this account. But let's get him picked up and get him taxed and everything before the game decides to crash or something. So he is a gold 185.41, so nowhere near diamond, but he had the potential. And yeah, he is pretty massive. For an albino, that is just super cool. Got him in the left lung, really good shot at 105 meters. I will definitely take it. Okay guys, so we have something pretty crazy right here as well. That is another albino elk. 74 to 160, it's a level 2 male, so he's not super big here. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and take him down. I was actually looking at that guy over there that went up to 393. But then I saw this guy, he looked a little bit wider than some of the others. And he is so crazy that we found two albino elk so far. Those others are unfortunately going to flee. So we'll get this guy picked up and we'll see what he's um, going to score. 
So he's going to be just a bronze, 160.95. Got him in the heart and the right lung, so not very big whatsoever. I do have a bigger one in the lodge, but we will definitely take this guy. And I'll, I'll probably throw this one in our main lodge. So level 3, 74 to 105. Definitely not the biggest ever, but it is a rare. So we're definitely going to try and get him here. Now he's giving us a really good shot at about 180 meters. The effective range for the 4570 is 75 meters. So I don't know if I really want to take a shot that's at 180 meters. If it was more like 120, I probably would just go for it. But I guess we can just slowly make our way over here. The wind is pretty perfect right now. So I'm going to get a little bit closer. I will let you guys know when we have a shot on this rare feral pig. So there he is, guys. It shows he's about 40 to 50 meters out. My binoculars has 47 meters. He's repositioned himself quite a bit here. But I'm hoping we can move just a bit to the right and get a shot on him. He is facing his now, so hopefully he doesn't go alert, but I don't think he's going to. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take this shot. And it was perfect. There we go. He is down. It took so long to find this guy. I'm just glad he finally is on the ground here. And we did get vitals. As you can see, if he's going to drop like that, it is definitely vital. Let's not waste time. Let's get him picked up. So he's a silver 74.97, and he is indeed the pink fur type. This is my second one, I want to say. I know I got one off of Teawar, I think it was, and it was a female. So to get a male, that is pretty cool. Got him in the left lung and the liver. A little bit far back with a shot. Well, I guess it was more into the middle of the lung, and then got just into the liver. Did some really good penetration there. Oh my god, guys, that is a crowned blue wildebeest. Crowned wildebeest can only be female, so it is a level 2, 21 to 26. I have never gotten one of these. This is so exciting. I've wanted one for the longest time and even thought about maybe grinding for one at some point. But there's one right there, so we got to get over here and get ready to take her down. I am the host of this session, so I'm not too worried about like crashes or anything. The game could still crash and everything, but I'm not worried about like, fail to synchronize. So, yeah, just making sure there's nothing else too crazy over here, but we're not going to worry about anything other than her. Let's just start walking towards her. I will let you know when we have a pretty good shot. I want to get just as close as possible. That way we don't mess her up. Okay, so we are pretty close to her right now, about 58 meters out according to my binoculars there. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to take her down. She's actually going to start traveling because some of the herd decided to flee. Let's take that shot, and it's good. I saw the vital blood, and she is already going to be down right up there. Let's go. I cannot wait to get her picked up and get her tagged. This is one of those trophies, like I said, that I have wanted for such a long time. I think they just look incredible. I do wish the males had the crown fur type. Not sure why it's just females. But anyway, let's grab her here. And there it is. Silver, 24.06. Right lung, liver, and the left lung. Just a perfect shot. And one of the coolest trophies here in the game. Like, I don't see a lot of these floating around. Up there is a level 7 brown bear, 23 to 26. So he's giving us a pretty good shot, even though he is turned away. We should be able to get into at least a single lung here. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and take something like that. And with any luck, it'll get to a double lung. He's not dropping like it was double lung, but he is dropping 50, 75. So it's at least single lung. Looks like he has a female with him. It's a level 4, 20 to 23. Um, if she decides to go broadside, I might just take her as well. Why not? So we'll hit that, see if it actually ends up being good. Um, fingers crossed it is. Okay, guys, so here's our level 7 brown bear, and as you can see, he is super dark. That is because he is actually a melanistic. This is insane. He's a gold 25.05. When I saw him up there on the hill, I noticed that he did look darker, but I just assumed it was because of the lighting. He was in the, like, under the trees and everything, so it was just a bit darker over there in general. So I didn't pay no attention to it, really, and didn't say anything either. But it turns out he is a melanistic. They've also got this dark brown fur type, which I've mistaken for melanistic before. It just looks super dark. But this one, it's just insane that he's actually melanistic. So thoracic vertebrae and right lung at 187 meters. I will definitely take it. So let's get this guy taxed before the game crashes or something. This is my first rare brown bear, I want to say. Okay, guys, so we've got a rare gray wolf right there. It's a level 4 female, 33 to 35. I can't tell if she's albino or egg white. Either way, we're going to go ahead and take her down. I would actually really love if she was egg white just because I have not gotten an egg white gray wolf in literally years. I have one in a multi-mount with an albino plains bison and then another albino gray wolf. So getting another egg white would just be awesome. So we need them to kind of stop walking here that we can get a shot on her. Now wolves in multiplayer are very like bugged out if there's like a bunch of people in the server. So if I went close to them, they would literally stop walking and they would just go defensive 
and be stuck in that position. But I want to see if we can kind of avoid that and just take her while she's on the walk here. So there she is, guys. I've moved over here just a bit to the left, and we've got a really good shot on her. So like I said, 33 to 35. She is a level 4 female. And she's going to be trotting along there. Let's... Oh, that was a bad shot. Um, let's see. Can we get a second shot on her? We did. 25, 50, 0, 25. We got her. Thank God my heart just dropped. That was insane. Like, as soon as I pulled the trigger that first time, she ended up walking. And then, luckily, she stopped there for that second time. Now, they probably went defensive and everything, so she was going to stop anyway. But I'm glad we got a second shot off and actually were able to take her down there. But, yeah, that first shot was definitely not good. Probably into the intestines, I would say. She just, like, was stopped for just a split second and then immediately started running again. I think she might actually be an egg white. She didn't look white enough to be albino. You can see the rest of the pack here is defensive and everything. Let's get her picked up. And, yeah, she is definitely an egg white. That is so awesome. Let's get her taxed here. She's a silver. 33.94. Got her in the sacrum and the coccyx there at 185 meters so that was a terrible shot didn't even get into any intestines or the stomach or anything that was just terrible but the second shot was good left lung in the right lung just kind of led her right there as she stood back up at 188 meters but there we have it an egg white gray wolf like i said it has been literally years since i've got one of these and she is all in a wonky position right there that is absolutely terrible looking so we've got another pack of gray wolves here and i was actually going to ignore this pack just because i don't like taking them down when they're bugged out like this but we have actually got a rare in here this is a red brown gray wolf he is a mythical 37 to 39 i can't pass this up we have to take him down i've actually got two red browns in my lodge and both of them are female so to see a male is pretty awesome so he's going to be a gold 37.82 let's tax him immediately Right lung, heart, and the liver. Very good shot at 15 meters. And there we go. I haven't seen one of these in, I think, probably a couple years at this point. We'll have to look when we get into the lodge and see when we got those two females. But I'm pretty sure it has been a couple years. Really cool rare here. All right, guys. There he is right there. And you can see we just got the drinking zone and everything. But he's just a level 5, so he's going to be a silver. But I don't care, like it's still a rare albino and a trophy I have never gotten on my main account, which I desper desperately want to at some point. But just to see one right here is absolutely insane. So we're going to be able to get a pretty good shot from this angle, so we'll wait for him to lift his head back up. And we'll get the 7mm ready. And of course, he's going to keep his head down for an extended period of time right there and then put it right back down. They do that sometimes where they'll leave their head down for a long time and then lift it up and then immediately put it back down. But maybe we'll get just a little bit closer. The wind isn't terrible. It's not like going directly at them. So we should be okay to get pretty close. We've got a level seven in there. There's a mythical... And he's going to start going attentive, so I think this is where we'll just kind of sit. He's at about 120 meters now. And let's just take the shot. He is standing up for an extended period. We might as well get it off, and I do see that he had, he had went down immediately, so that is good. He almost looks red from a distance. That's kind of interesting. I'm guessing that's just how the light is hitting it. But here we have him. Let's not waste time and just get him picked up. So silver, 281.07. And he is, in fact, an albino. And man, do they look fantastic. I've seen a few videos of them in the past. But like I said, just never have been able to experience getting one for myself. But I am just extremely happy that we did get this guy. But yeah, they are one of the best looking albinos here in the game. So got him in the left lung and right lung. It was a perfect shot. Almost got into the heart right there. It, you could argue that it did hit the heart because it is just like right there. It's super close. 